hello beautiful audience we are glad to have you guys back on this channel once again and just in case this is your first time of coming across this channel this is blessing godwin tv and guys on today's video we are live in orca the capital city of anambra state nigeria and on this video, we are going to take you around this beautiful city so that you would see what the capital city of Anambra State looks like today. And right now, we are at the Amobia axis of Orca, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria. And by our right, you can see the Correctional um, Service Center in Oka, that is the Oka prison. That is the, what you are seeing by our right. Yes, this is the Oka prison uh, at Amopia in Oka. And um, also from here, we are going down towards the uh, Ministry of Works junction in Oka City. Yes, we are going to take you around this city so that you will see what Oka actually looks like as of today so over here is the ministry of Fox junction by our left and also headed straight um, by our right you would see the pulse university it is um, a privately owned university in Oka. Um, basically it's anglican um, university yeah i can see that pulse university also right ahead of us is the Ukwoji areas. Yes, that's Ukwoji in the popular Ukwoji in Oka. We have um, two Ukwojis in Oka. One is at the um, at the government house, while this one is in Oka. Yes, so this is Ukwoji areas in Oka, and um, this is where you will find most banks in uh, that that are right within the city. Yes, most of the banks are found in that um, axis. So from there is um, the Zix Avenue. That's where the Zix Avenue started and up to the Amini areas. So right now we are we just passed the uh, Mukwaji area and we are headed straight towards the Ekoka areas, still on the Zix Avenue Road. You see, um, this Zix Avenue Road is a very very long road in Oka, just like we have the Stadium Road in Portacourt. You understand if you if you know how stretched the stadium road in Portacourt looks like, that is exactly what we have here in Oka. This is the Zix Avenue Road in Oka, and it's a really um long road. So right now we are right at the Ekoka axis of this city. This Ekoka is the biggest market, or should I say, the major market in Oka the capital city of Anambra state, Nigeria. And if you look, you will see that the roads are a bit um, scanty today. That's because it's a Sunday. So um, lots of businesses are not actually opened um, today. Yes, people are resting and relaxing in their homes. And um, a lot of people are also attending various activities depending on one's schedule so basically um markets don't open on sundays in this part of the country yes um people don't do businesses on sunday because um most of the people in these areas are christians so um they are predominantly christians and that is why on sundays you wouldn't see much um activities um, going on in this city yes apart from um relaxation hubs that's where you see people um, hanging out and having fun so these are all um we are still in the ekoka axis of the zix avenue in orca and um from here we are also headed um straight towards the parkas Yes, that parkas is um, mostly where they sell um, spare parts, vehicle spare parts, 
and of tires and what have you whatever it is we need for your vehicle um repair this is the area where you will get them but like i told you earlier today is a sunday so lots of businesses are not opened so this is the parkers area in oka these are where you get your vehicle spare parts and uh, what have you yes and we are still in the zix avenue yes this is still um zix avenue in Oka, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria. So we are still headed straight towards the um, um, Regina Junction. But before we get to the um, Regina Junction, we we'll also get to um, Paul's College. So that means St. John's College. And before that, we we'll also get to the old Mr. Bakes. Yes, that old Mr. Biggs is also um, a particular clustered place where they sell um, spare parts also. Okay, so these areas are all um, the Zix Avenue areas. You just pass the um, Ichide Street and um, some other local streets around these places. And also over here is um, the old Mr. Biggs area. As you can see, this is where we used to have mr biggs before now yes but they are no longer um, existing in that location so in these places the sold vehicular parts also in this city and by our left is um, st patrick's catholic church that is is a catholic church this is diocese um, of oka this is a catholic diocese of oka by our left here yes that's st patrick's Catholic Diocese of Orca. And also the next junction we are hitting here is the Regina Junction. You can see that by our left. That's the Regina Shelley um, Junction. Also we are still headed um, towards the Amenyi areas of Orca. Also still in the Zix Avenue. Okay, that's why I told you guys that this this road is uh, this uh, this avenue is a very long road that 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 is is just you can compare it with um the stadium road in Port Harcourt like I told you earlier it's a very long road um within this city and if you look around you will notice that the city is calm and um scanty um to an um to an extent today that's because it's a sunday so businesses are not actually active today people are actually um, in church or at home or at um, relaxation points um, relaxing and uh, having fun so this is what Oka looks like today so guys i'm still going to take you guys around this city so that you actually see what this city looks like okay, okay i'm going to take you guys around major locations in this city so stick to this video make sure you watch the video to the end so that you would see what Oka looks like currently today and this is Amenyi this is the Amenyi market in Oka yeah this is also a market place within this city but um it's not the major market like I told you guys we just passed a Koka that is the major market in Oka just like we have the main market in Onicha. So this is a many market areas of Oka. And also um, proceeding from here, we'll be heading towards the ring road. Yes, there's um, a little roundabout that we we'll meet ahead of us. That's the ring road um, in Oka. So all these areas are still the Ameni areas. So you can see what Oka really um, looks like today. Um, though there has been a lot of developments in this axis of um, the Zix Avenue. If you really know what Oka used to look like before and um, compared to what it is now, you would understand that there has been a lot of development and improvements especially in infrastructure within this city.
city. Yes, um, also we just um, hit the ring road in Oka city. Okay, this is um, the ring road in Oka city. And over here, we just approached the Agwaka um, areas. From this point, it's all through the Agwaka areas that we are in right now. And um, also, you would, would um, get through or pass through the industrial layout in Oka from this particular access. So if you look around, uh, most of what you find in these locations now is um, factories, companies, um, big schools, big businesses, and um, also we have a very um, gigantic hospital. I mean, one of the best hospitals in Oka located in these areas too. So this is actually the industrial layout. Um, areas of Oka, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria. This is where you find a lot of um, companies and industries also. And also these areas you also find huge schools. Yes, big schools are located in these areas. And also it is also in these areas that they are constructing the Oka shopping mall. You can see that by our left also. Yes, that's the Oka shopping mall by our left under construction. And also um, at our right, far um, right, would also be seen one of the best hospitals in this town. So um, this area is filled with lots of um, companies, industries, and huge businesses and also schools there are lots of good schools um, located within these areas and even estates yes, you can find estates located within these areas so by our right here is um, a major hospital in Oka and also by our left is a, a hotel that is newly completed in this city so over here is the Ezuzu junction in Oka so we are going to take our left and from our left here we would head towards the immigration road so right now we are at the Enugu Nature Expressway in Oka so we will cross over towards the immigration road because i would want you to tell me what you think or what you noticed about this city okay so yes if there's anything you noticed about this city or if there's anything you observed or if there's any um advice or contribution you want to make or if there's any notes that you actually want to let us know about it please do that on the comment section so that we'll all be on the same page together yes if there's anything you noticed about this city or if there's anything you want the government to do that they are not doing right please let us know about that on the comment section we are live in orca again this is the capital city of anambra state nigeria and over here by our left is the Divine Shopping Mall in the Agwaka area of Oka. And um, this road um, also leads straight to the Ifite areas in Oka. Yes, from here, if we we'll keep going straight, we we'll, would um, get to where we we'll call um, the Book Foundation Junction. Yes, there is um, a, a place we would meet if we keep heading straight. 
and that and that is the book foundation junction but we will not uh, we will not get to that um point um before we um divert so all these areas is the aguaca areas and um most of what you will find in these locations is estates um gras are all located around these areas like these areas is mostly residential areas and we are still at the immigration road or the aguacas areas of this city yes this is where you find the big guys in this town i would if also show you even um the location where the deputy governor of anambra state is also residing yes it's just within these areas also so by our um, our right is the organiru estate yes this is the organiru estate in oka that we just passed and um, from this point we'll be taking our left exit um so that we'll get towards the commissioner quarters in oka so this way i tell you that if you go straight from here you would meet book foundation junction and that will be the if the area that is the student um areas because that's where students of nanda university are living those who live off campus yes that's the locations where um they live so over here right now is the commissioner quarters areas of orca the capital city of anambra state nigeria and just um by our left here there is a road that leads that there is a close by our left here there's a close you can see where that guy is coming out from yes that's where the deputy governor is living as deputy governor of this state so all these areas is also uh we call it the government house areas that is after the commissioner quarters we are heading towards the government house areas of Orca. So um, behind the government house, there are also lots of um, residential um, estates around there. So please let me know what you noticed about this. If there's anything you noticed about the city, if there's anything um, you would want the government to do that you think they are not doing right, I would appreciate it if you let us know about those on, on the comment section. And in case you are just joining us, we are live in Orca, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria. And we are going to take you around the major locations in this city as of today, so that you will see what they actually look like. And just in case you used to live in this city and it's been a while you have been to this city this video is for you so that you actually see what this city looks like now and then you can now compare it with what it used to look like so that you will know if there is actually progress or if there is no progress so this is the popular um aquinas um junction in Oka. I stores the government house areas. You can see the Catholic Church over there. That is the Saint Aquinas um, Catholic Church or car. So these areas are mostly what you will find here. Mostly is residential areas. Yes, and um, that's mostly estates and um, what have you. So from here we'll be going towards the express again. So that we would um, navigate um, to Aroma Junction, and from Aroma Junction, I will take you guys through no do through um, Abakeliki streets and uh, other parts of the city, so that you also see what these areas look like as of today. So these areas are still within the government house areas in orca yes the, is, these areas are all um behind the government house um axis of this city
don't forget to let us know whatever it is you noticed about this city on the comment section if there's anything you would like the state government to improve on please let us know about those on the comment section we are live in Oka, guys this is live coming to you from the stables of blessing godwin tv and we keep doing this back to back just like we always do bringing to you far and near cities all at your um doorsteps and at your finger um tip so this is oka and right now we are we have approached the enugu nature expressway again yes we have approached the enugu nature expressway again and we are headed straight towards the um aroma junction from this point and if you look closely by our right you'll be seeing the current government house in oka yes by our right is will lead you into the current government house in oka so but we'll be heading headed straight towards the aroma junction okay we are still headed to towards aroma yes uh, we are headed towards the aroma flyover in orca so if you are coming from enugu um this is the first flyover you are going to meet that, that is the aroma flyover is the first flyover you are going to meet if you are coming from enugu and if you are coming from onicha it is the third flyover you are going to meet in orca so right now um it is as if we are coming from enugu so the, it is the first flyover we are going to meet from here so over here is the location where they are building or they are constructing the um, overpass the flyover in orca and um, that is why there is a little bit traffic in this area so so far so good um work is going on in this location so you can see that the contractors are working on the overpass um flyover that is under construction don't worry um, we'll soon get you update on that project um soonest as it progresses so right ahead of us is the aroma flyover that i told you guys about so we are going to take the right exit so that we can navigate um towards the new government house road in Anka. and this particular junction in is called the aroma um, aroma junction this used to be a Roma roundabout, but right now it's the Roma junction. Since the flyover is being constructed, there is no more a roundabout in this area. So it's a Roma junction in Orca. So guys, from this point, we will take um, the right exit that will lead us to the Judiciary Road. Or the secretarial road, whichever one you want to call it, in Oka. So please don't forget to let us know about whatever it is that you noticed in this city, because we, in case you don't know, we are live in Oka city, and we are going around major locations in this city, so that you would see or would see what this city actually looks like currently today. So if there's anything you notice, if there's anything you think the government is not actually doing it um, right, if there's anything you think you want to address or you observed, please 
kindly let us know about those stuff on the comment section so from here we'll take the left exit you can see the equipment square is also receiving proper attention by the Anambra state government also if you um if you pass the equipment square you also you will also see this this building here is the Anambra state house of assembly building that is by our right And by our left is the INEC, INEC building by our left here. So right now we are headed towards the no do, no do area of Orca. So um, this area is mostly um, we have lots of government offices located um, in this axis of this city. And right now we are right at the uh, no-do um, areas of this city. Yes, this is um, no-do areas of Orca. And uh, mostly in these areas, we have residential um, buildings and also stores, street stores are located in these areas. And right now, we are right behind the CBN building in Oka. Yes, the CBN building is located at the Express, but right now, we are behind it. And we are approaching Digital Health Masticle um, Company in Oka. You can see the white and blue building right ahead of us is Digital Health Masticle Company. So this is um, behind this uh, Masticle factory. Yes, this is behind it. And in front of us is the Millennium Plastic Company in Oka. So that's the red roof you are seeing over here. So that's the Millennium Plastic Company. And by our left, the blue building you are seeing here is Juhel Fumasticol Company. All located in Oka, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria. So we are going to take our right exit. And um, from here, we are headed straight to the Club Street in Oka. That is where everything goes down in this city. I, I would say it is the most happening location in Oka when it comes to nightlife, clubs, bars and what have you. And that's the that's the most clustered location where we have all those stuff in Oka City. So yes, we are live at the Club Street in Orca, and this is one of the um, busiest locations you can find at night in Orca. As a matter of fact, you you wouldn't be able to drive through these roads once it's um, night, yes, because there is a lot of traffic um, happening on this particular road due to the influx of people from far and near who come out there to have fun and hang out and relax with friends and families. You can see the Ibiza building by our left. There are lots of bars in these locations, lots of clubs and lots of hotels. Just name it. Whatever it is you want, you find it out here at night. You can see cars are already um, parking left and right of this particular area and it's still daytime it's not yet evening that is to tell you the the kind of um, cluster of vehicles we used to have in these locations at night 
So all through this road is the club street and it is a very very busy location. In fact, this is where the nightlife in the city actually takes place. It's always busy from dawn till dusk. So by our left is Solution Arena that is recently completed and you can see that business is actually taking place already in this location. Yes, you can see the clubs again. You can see the hotels again and you can see the bars again. This is Club Street. Live and direct. This is Club Street in Oka, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria. And just like I told you guys earlier, if there's anything you noticed, if there's anything you observed, if there's anything you want the state government to address, please let us know about those stuffs on the comment section so that we all will be on the same page. Just bring to you major locations that you would want to see in Oka. And also, if it's been a long time, you have been in this city or you have been out of this city please let us know about that and let us know what you think have um, happened to this city since you left has it improved or has it not improved please let us know about that on the comment section and also if you have plans to relocate to orca or to come um, to this city for vacation also let us know about that in the comment section because this is what this city actually looks like currently today yes we are still at the club street yes this is still the club street in Oka and at this point if you take the right exit you'll be going towards the Ngozika estate and if you take the um, the, the left exit right now which we are taking we will be headed towards the Enugu or Nature Expressway again and you can see the hotels again you can see the clubs again yes this area is completely um, relaxation areas this is where a lot of things goes down in this city So guys, this is Oka, the capital city of Anambra State, Nigeria, and we are bringing you live update of what this city actually looks like currently today. And also, just in case you have watched up to this point, I would love to say thank you so very much. God bless you. And also see you on our next epic, beautiful video coming your way. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel just in case you have not subscribed already already for more beautiful updates just like this one coming your way remain blessed and bye for now